All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Aliens Dark Descent Part 6, and we have a chance to do some customization Salute. in the barracks. I'm going to leave this nickname bar open for you guys leaving comments saying you want to be a member of the squad. Let me know which member of the squad you want to be, and we'll put your nickname down, and you will basically be that person. Leon Sharp is our gunner, so I wanted him to look kind of hard. Kind of like a beast, you know? I don't hate how he looks already. Body scar, too. He's got a big scar down his arm there. Damn. Tattoo, skull, dice, triangle thing. Really cool, but I'm not sure what that is. It's like a snake wing sword thing. <laughs> I don't even know where this tattoo is. Okay, spades card. Um, Te Amor, Te Amo Mater, is that I love Ma? Is that I love Mom? I don't know. Oh, that looks sick, actually. Give him... Oh, he's got it on both sides, too? Then there's a bat on his right, a rose on his right. Yeah, I like I like the uh, near tribal tattoo going on there. I like that fabric. Okay, it's the color of his pants, basically. Uh, if we're gonna be in in like um, maybe that, if we're gonna be in like a deserty building-ish territory, oh, some of these faces look interesting so far. probably don't need to mess with the face. We can probably just run with that as is. But good to see our options. Yeah. We'll go with that. Then the head scars. Oh, you can get some crazy burn scars. I think we already have a character with those. Yikes. Again, I think what he had already looked pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Then the hair. Which includes the headband. Or the bandana. Ooh, whoa. Oh, that looks sick, actually. I like that. 16, huh? Okay. The full mullet going on. Mullet with headband. The punk look. Which I don't hate, to be honest, on him, but it's not the best I've seen. That kind of looks like my hair, to be honest. Backwards hat, bandana. Okay, yeah, I definitely liked this. This looked good. And then hair color. Go it. There's only five. There's dark. There's red. There's like an auburn. Blonde. White. Let's go blonde, yeah. Yeah, that, that looks good to me. And that's the whole customization. So it's not super in-depth, but it's enough to like make your own characters to a to a degree. Was there nowhere else to, like, change his armor? Did I miss that? Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Well, there you have it. There's our guy. Um, next up... Oh, we can look at all of our soldiers, too! Come on! Let me know which soldier you want to be in the comments, I'm just saying. Jessica Webb. Uh, she's our sergeant. Okay. So she needs to look like... She knows what she's Come doing. Come on, team! Come on, team! That's more like a sergeant. Um, I kind of like two. Let's rock that. Tattoos. Could give her the whole, like, wing thing. Wow, her arms are so skinny. What? Why are her arms so tiny? Oh, it's the same tattoos. Okay. Yeah, it's the same tattoos. <laughs> the bat, the rose. Could give her the rose. Um, give her the desert building. See, she has an armor option. The other guy didn't have an armor option. <laughs> I feel robbed. Maybe the white actually looks better and makes more sense. No, it doesn't. Scratch that. I'm totally wrong. Okay. Face. Okay, this is what six looks like. Imprint it in my brain. Looks pretty good, to be honest. So does that, to be honest.
I want her to look intelligent and fierce. I kind of... Okay, I know six looks good, but I kind of like seven for the sergeant look. Get rid of her burn scar, maybe? Oh, she's like showing it off with that hairstyle, too. She said, yeah, look how far that burn goes. Oh, damn. That's kind of hard. Not gonna lie. That, that's kind of the same haircut, but that's fine. Okay, we know what these haircuts look like. I think, yeah, the male and female have the same options. Oh, mostly. Hold up. Four, five. Okay, so there are some different options. Six. Seven. No, that's terrible. Seven's the worst, for sure. Oh! Wait a second. I like that hairstyle. Not on this character, but I like that hairstyle a lot. Let's do 10. The sweep. Yeah, she looks ready to go. Helmet off. That's pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. The burn even, like, takes off the hair in the area. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go with that. That looks good. Okay, there you go. That's Jessica Webb. So we got Leon Sharp. We got Jessica Webb. And now Ezekiel Smith. He's our recon. Come on, team. Come on, team. That's good. Come on, team. Come on, team. Yeah. Let's have let's have the other guy be voice one. I I'd, I'd prefer them Come all to have on, different team. voices in the same squad. Um, we'll just go with, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I'm shooting for this time, so I'm not sure what we want, to be honest. It's either you have a body scar or you don't, basically. If he does have a tattoo, it's gonna have to be on the right side because of the sleeve he has. Maybe he'll be our guy with no tattoo. Yeah, he'll be our, he'll be our, they're not all gonna be inked. Go back to armor 2 and fabric 2. He's got like a whole cape and everything. What the? It's kind of a lot. What do I want him to look like? I'm not sure. Man, there's a lot of questionable faces here. To be honest, maybe we, maybe we switch this up here. Yes, that super cool hair color, I, that hairstyle I wanted to use earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's possibilities here. What are these faces? Are you serious? Does it have to do with skin complexion? Can I get a better face if I do a different skin complexion? <laughs> Bro, what? That one's decent. Still not good. What are these characters' faces? For real. This is what they've given me. Ah, oh, that's tough. That's the best we're gonna get. That's a shame. Hmm. Nah, I'm not loving it with those faces, to Come be honest. On, Come on, team. What a shame. Oh well. We can just do the hoods. So we don't have to worry about the hair. True. Give him dark hair. How do we want him looking here? That's actually not bad. That looks pretty good. Wait a minute. How did we stumble across something that actually looked decent? There we go. Alright, that's gonna be Ezekiel Smith. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you are skipping over customization, and I don't blame you. Alright. I'm gonna customize the rest of them off camera, just so that we're not wasting time. Um, we're gonna customize one last character here. Hopefully, uh, we can get a better face here. Uh, let's go... See? 
Where were these faces? I swear that, like, different characters have different face options, almost. There's still only one good one. No, that's still the same face as before. Damn it. How are they doing this to me? That's right, that'll work. She's our, t she's our techer, right? She's got the tech on her back. Big brains. Brains on deck. It's a pretty fitting tattoo for brains. Yeah, let's go with the let's go with the Pentagon thing. The, not the Pentagon thing. What? That's no. That's oh my god, the triangle pyramid thing. Pyramid. That's the word I was looking for. Come on, team. Okay, we need to go voice two with the other female in the group. Come on, team. Which complexion do I like most with the hairstyle? I think I did look like I did like the. Oh wait, that medium tone right there. That looks good with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Got the tattoo, got the armor set. Uh, they can't all have scars. That does look cool, though. Yeah, and I think I like it best with brown, with black hair. There we go. All right. And then that's Elizabeth McDonald. So here we are. This is the squad. They're looking good now. We have Leon Sharp, the gunner. We have Jessica Webb, the sergeant. We have Ezekiel Smith, the recon, I almost said rogue, and Elizabeth McDonald, the tacker. Alright, now I'll look at the rest of these uh, later. Like, uh, customization-wise, but let's at least look at what their traits are. Undisciplined. The Marine Star is deployed with a disobedient stress effect. For every two disobedient Marines in your squad, the number of maximum command points is reduced by one. Okay, so he can never be with another... <laughs> if we have two undisciplined soldiers, we're going to have two command points, and that's unacceptable. Weak. Reduces the Marine's ammo clip capacity by one at the start of deployment. She carries no ammo with her in. That's terrible. Sandra Kurtz. Jack Neeran. Jinx. With each burst, the Marine's weapon has a 0.5% chance of jamming. That's bad. Uh, I don't know what a jamming entails, but at least it's low chance. And you get like 25 bursts per ammo clip, so on average, it won't happen. It'll rarely happen, but it could. Luna Sane's rusty. Marine is always exhausted at the end of a deployment. Okay, that's inconvenient, but would, at least it doesn't affect her mid-deployment. Poor sight. Accuracy reduced by 10. Nope, this guy's not getting used. Esteban Ruiz, you're sitting in the back. Aveline Latimer, unfit. Marine has one fewer health points. Does not affect her. She has five health instead of six. Oh. That doesn't matter as long as we don't get her too hurt, but obviously puts her in more danger of going down early. And then Duncan Torrance, the guy we just picked up, Brawler. While a squad is resting, another random Marine in the squad, that we looked at this one, suffers one health point damage unless you have medical assistant attribute. Damage is prevented if they have medical assistant attribute. That's messed up. Duncan Torrance has some problems. We're probably not going to be using this guy either. Okay. Alright, they want us in the command deck. You can count on them, man. Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study. And Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other, is there? True enough. All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper, your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, it could help. People should know. They have the right to you know. You mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. Okay, this but... conversation's over. He seemed really aggressive about that. That was weird. That's enough for today. Select the next day button. Hold to confirm your choice. Planet infestation level one. Okay. I guess here we go. Next day. New objectives are awaiting your review. What? We identified the crash location of the Baldron. We could go there and gather tons of materials. Go on a gathering mission, earn a hundred materials, and lose deployment, or don't go on the gathering mission. Oh! <laughs> There's no way, right? We can't do that. 
a hundred materials. We could get a whole other tool before we go back out. But every day is valuable, right? Or we can just move on to the next day. Don't go on the gathering mission. And it's a hundred materials with no risk. Gives another day for our main squad to get healthy. There's arguments here for us to go on it. Could be more well equipped. <sighs> we can get a flamethrower, a mine. Or the, the secondary guns. And then when we put the smart gun down with our gunner, he has a revolver in the back, which is better than a service pistol. I think we might do this. Is this stupid? I don't... I don't know. Is this dumb or is this okay? Go on a gathering mission. I did it. Gathering mission was success. 100 materials retrieved. We lost our deployment for the day. Okay. They must pass for a new deployment is available. That kind of hurts, to be honest. But, uh... I think it was... I think? I hope it was the right decision. It makes us better for next time we go out. With no risk to our troops. I think that's okay. Here's a couple more guns for you guys to read if you want to. <laughs> Wait, the smart gun's technically a 10 millimeter? Really? Wow. 10 millimeter's not that big. Huh. And there it is standing up. Oh, man. That's awesome. Okay. I think I just saw that it's going to show us some classes here. Attributes. <clears throat> okay, when they reach a new level, Marines will gain new attributes to improve their combat effectiveness. These attributes are divided into the following categories. Class attributes, specific to the class of the Marine. These attributes improve their role in the squad. Unlocked at levels 3, 6, and 10. And common attributes. All Marine classes share these attributes. When a Marine reaches a new level, you'll be asked to choose a new attribute for your Marine from among three randomly chosen common attributes. So every level we get a common attribute. That's good. Some of the common attributes have levels, and their effect improves with each level, up to a maximum of three. Okay, so Dead Eye will max at three. As long as the Marine is conscious and alive, their attributes remain in effect. Upgrades. Adding upgrade requires 30 materials for the Otago, so 30 every time. <clears throat> to make your Marine stronger, you can buy upgrades. So we could also use our 100 materials on three upgrades if we wanted to. Instead of, like, new weapons. But I think getting everybody a better secondary weapon is still pretty great. These upgrades are divided into the following categories. Specific, uh, class... Oh, wait. Class upgrades. Specific to the class of the Marine. Common upgrades. These can be used by any Marine class. Upgrade slots are unlocked at 1, 2, 3, 6, and 10. Once assigned to a Marine, an upgrade cannot be removed, so choose wisely. As long as the Marine is conscious and alive. Okay. So there's no way to undo what we've done. But there are class and common upgrades. Obviously the one we took was a class upgrade. Only a gunner could ever do that. Sergeant class attributes. Oh, we get a sneak peek here. Uh, Charismatic is what we already have. Reprimand. Grants the reprimand skill, which prevents stress from increasing for the next 30 seconds. Hey! That's not bad. 30 seconds of no stress gain. And encouraging speech. When using the rest option, the squad stress is reduced by 100 points instead of 50 points. What? <clears throat> it's already reduced by 100. That's interesting. Um, Sergeant class upgrades. Radio backpack. As long as a marine with this attribute is alive, the maximum command point capacity of the squad is increased by one. You're kidding! Okay, we might have to pass on upgrading our secondary weapons and buying some upgrades. That's crazy. Honor ribbons. Increases bravery by five. The marine must have the charismatic attribute to equip this upgrade. Advanced radio backpack. As long as the marines arrive, command points are regenerated ten seconds faster. The marine has to have a radio backpack to use this upgrade. Dude! We can get an extra command point and get them faster. It's a perfect class for to improve your combat abilities by providing more command points or managing the stress endured by the squad. Sergeant seems so good. Gunners. Weapon well, training with a smart gun, of course. Bone breaker increases the dismemberment chance of the Marine's primary weapon by 1%. So that's clearly additive. It's going from 0.3% to 1.3%. Okay. Unleash hell. The higher Marine's stress step, the higher their firing rate. Which means they run out of ammo faster, but they're also going to crush some stuff. Fair. Okay. Gunner class upgrades. High, high impact rounds, advanced tracking system, and tripod. M56 M ACT. Yeah, so... Okay, so these three were the class upgrades, and everything else we saw were the common ones. 
So that means everyone can use the other stuff? Because I was looking at the other stuff like they were good too. The gunner is great at facing numerous enemies. With the smart gun in their hands, this marine can easily use suppressive fire to control several threats. Tekker. Sentry gun overcharge. Grants a sentry gun overcharge interaction, which improves the damage of a sentry gun for a tool. Dude, that's big! Techers are going to be our sentry gun. We got to have a techer then. And also hacking to, be, get a, to get us encrypted doors. We're going to always have a techer on us. Making sentry guns better and letting us in encrypted doors is just a win-win. And then robotic expert. Grants a robotic expert interaction option, which allows the marine to repair a synthetic during a deployment for a tool. Maybe that serves a purpose other than fighting with us? I'm not sure. Class upgrades. The Valravon 450 Recon Drone. The Marine is followed by a drone that can perform specific interactions and follow orders. Battle Drone. The drone is now equipped with the M39 submachine gun that can fire at enemies. The Marine must have a Valravon, a Valravon 450 Recon Drone upgrade to equip this gear. So the Tekker can get a drone that comes with us and shoots with us? That seems kind of... These upgrades are actually crazy. Drone Welder. The tactical drone can now weld or breach welded doors. Cost one tool. Can now weld or breach welded doors. Oh, can now weld or breach welded doors. Got it. So, like, if we don't have someone available to weld for some reason, <clears throat> could do that. The Tekker is the perfect asset when you want to explore a location for resources. This is, this is exactly why I need him. And then Recon. Is the deadly master scout the squad relies on. These skillful marines have multiple tools at their disposal to uncover terrain and deal with single targets. The sniper rifle, of course, does 42 damage, we saw. And when guns are doing 1 or 2 damage, and this does 42, that's gross. Fast deployment. As long as a marine with this attribute is alive, the squad movement speed is increased. Bonus is not cumulative. Okay. So 2 recons doesn't double it. Fair enough. Infiltration tactics. Enemy detection time is increased by 50%. Sure, why not? So a faster squad and 50% more detection time. That's not bad. The sniper seems the big one. Battle scanner. Grants access to the scanner skill, which reveals the position of all moving entities on the current floor for 60 seconds. Which was useful early on, I suppose. Silencer. The persistent shot no longer generates noise. And infrared goggles. As long as a marine with this upgrade is alive, every enemy within 10 meters of the squad is displayed. Why would they not be displayed? Are there stealth enemies, maybe? That's what that sounds like, which means we're going to need him, too. The recon is a perfect asset if you want to explore the location without being spotted by enemy entities. Without being... Sp yeah, yeah, true, true. Oh, man. Incineration. The closest marine equipped with a flamethrower fires flames within a determined area. Directly select a location to fire in a straight line or drag and drop to set a firewall. 5 to 10 damage per second. That's kind of cool. Damn, this, this squad is wounded and stressed out on this example here. That's awesome. Next day. You can only deploy your squad once per day. To get a new deployment, you'll need to pass a day by pressing the next day button in the command deck of the Otago. When you pass a day, several things happen. An event occurs aboard the Otago. You can choose from several resolution options. <clears throat> okay, so those events are going to happen every day. The recovery time for all your marines in the medbay is reduced by one. Marines in the psychiatric care unit come closer to being healed of their traumas. Which we don't have yet, but we don't have traumas either, so we're going to be okay. All available Marines will gain experience by using the training room. Oh. We don't have that yet either, but it sounds great. Your physicians are refreshed and available. The infestation, infestation level of the moon, Lethe, increases. You gain a new deployment. Don't forget to use all your physicians and engineers before passing a day. True. Okay, and then armory. Yeah, we, we know about the armory. Okay. So much information to constantly work with Have in this nice game. Day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. Um, they're tired anyway. We're not going to be able to take these out, are we? Talk to you soon. Ma'am, this one won't let you down. They're still tired for a day. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to take them out, even if we healed them. And we Bye, have a deployment man. ready? Troops. We no, a day must pass. Okay, so yeah, we will be able to take them out. Okay. Have a nice day. Might as well use Deputy the position, even though I'm pretty sure this is pointless. This one's a priority. Understood. Stay safe. Um, okay. Do we want to take the revolver for the increased secondary weapon? It does seem way better, to be honest. About twice as good, because the burst duration takes it takes a little longer per shot. 
And while it could do less damage technically, it has a good chance to do more. Man. We can either do that or we can do three upgrades for our classes. This this upgrades every single member. I'm just gonna do it. Let's hope our mat won't sue us. Yeah. But I think I might wait on these two things. RPG launcher. I really want that. Look at that damage. Requires a level 6 marine and 200 materials. Some machine gun requires a level 6 marine and 200 materials. Plasma rifle requires a level 10 marine. Heavy pulse rifle requires a level 6 marine and 200 materials. I think we're going to be short on materials this whole playthrough. <laughs> we're never going to have enough materials to feel satisfied. That's right. These generate 5 materials each day. That's why we have 15 left. See you around. Hello, man. You can count on them. Man. Okay. Need a All right. Administrator? All right. It is what it is. Let's go to the next day, I guess. We have new codex again? What? Oh, the revolver, right. Yeah, yeah. A 357 revolver. Next day. Yeah, here we go. New objectives are awaiting your review. Old ship cemetery distress signal. We received a distress signal from a shipbreaker in an old ship cemetery. We can rescue one engineer and lose deployment again, or we can ignore the signal. Oh my god, it's gonna keep taking our deployments, isn't it? But another engineer would be five materials a day? Probably for the rest of this game. And if we're thinking about this game being compared to XCOM, getting an engineer on the third day, an extra engineer on the third day, would completely change your playthrough. Let's say this game only lasts uh, 20 in-game days. And it's going to last a lot longer than that, I'm almost positive. But let's say it only lasts 20. We get that extra engineer for 18 days. That's 90 supplies. That's three upgrades. And that's really conservative. <sighs> what are we doing? <laughs> We're never going to leave this ship. But I feel like we had a really productive day one. I feel like we can take these. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, we didn't get the materials for the extra engineer that day. Damn. Rescue mission was success. One new engineer has been added to the Otago. Wonderful. Fantastic. All right, everybody's available. There's nobody to heal. Um. Have a nice day, <clears throat> Deputy Administrator Hayes. Nothing to do there. Stay safe out there. Okay, next day then. <laughs> Damn, I messed... Uh, I I don't think I messed it up, but... This planet infestation is increasing. And I feel like we really need to get out there and get back into a mission. New objectives are awaiting your... Nervous review. breakdown. Rookie E. Ruiz fr suffers from a nervous breakdown. Oh no, this is a negative event for sure. Rookie E. Ruiz... Becomes exhausted. Order the Marine to rest, or are you finished? Rookie E. Ruiz gains a random trauma. Oh my god. No, he's a rookie. We, we're not going to use him next day anyway. Take a break, man. Rest. That sucks. I'm glad it was with a soldier we weren't going to use. Okay, we've learned a lot about these events. We have a deployment left. We're back in action. We got 50 materials. That's nice. Getting those extra engineer materials here. <coughs> And an exhausted marine. Have so what does exhausted day, do? Deputy Administrator Hayes. Where is Ruiz? Which one is he? Here he is. This one won't let you down. He's our poor sighted guy. Oh, we were never gonna use him anyway. Tenless actually is terrible. This marine cannot be selected to participate in the mission. Okay, so exhausted means <laughs> you don't get to go. Okay. We have fifty supplies. On. I might buy an upgrade before we go. Let's see. Infestation is growing so fast. Two more days and we're going to be at level 2 planet infestation. So we should probably leave. Operations ready in the <laughs> we, we stalled for a long time. It's day 4 already. Planet infestation progresses with each passing day. Uh huh. Each time the planet infestation gauge reaches a new threshold, the overall difficulty of all locations will increase. <sighs> I really hope I didn't, I didn't like mess everything up. I really hope we're okay. I really hope we're good. Alright, um, Dead Hills, we have 11 of 14 primary objectives, 15 of 19 data pads, 190 of 300 materials, and 1 out of 2 Xenotex. That's pretty good for being there for one day. 
All right, Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting. Oh, we've we've heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the brief. Okay. Select Understood. deployment. Uploading mission data. Command deck. Once you have deployed your squad on a particular mission, you'll be able to select your squad's entry point in future deployments. Select an entry point to deploy your squad. Understood. Okay, so we get to choose which one? <laughs> yeah, drop me there. That's probably the best one. Ah, but... Yeah, that that's the best one. Let's go there. Build squad. <clears throat> E. Smith has no negative trait. Look at this man. <laughs> the redemption. Look how good our squad looks. Come on. Oh, uh, you don't need a pulse rifle, man. You need a smart gun. Oh, <laughs> that looks good. There you are, Sharp. He's got that bad luck. He gets less experience. But that doesn't make him any worse in the mission. Yeah, he levels up a little slowly. But not by that much. We got... 14 experience, I think, in that first mission. So he got... No, everyone else got 15, he got 14. That's not much. That's fine. That's actually a really good trait, considering how how these other traits are. This is a really good trait. I don't feel like that will ever matter. That one's less good, to be honest. Our Tekker's trait makes her stress out a little too easily, but... Okay. Oh, we can revolver everybody. Get her that revolver. Get everybody a revolver. I'm surprised it didn't automatically do that. Okay, we got revolvers on our hips. Hell yeah. Uh, Ezekiel Smith. Pump shotgun for sniper rifle. Hell yeah. Can I see him? Can I see his back? I want to see his back. I guess we'll see it later. I can't really spin him right now. <clears throat> Am I forgetting anything else? Yeah, and everyone else can only have a shotgun. So we've got three shotguns and a sniper rifle. Advanced info. Select inventory. Can I not do an upgrade? Oh, I thought it said we had four century guns. I was like, what? Can we not do an upgrade? Okay, we have four tools. Yes, yeah, so we just add them. I'll leave one behind, and I'll leave a med kit behind, too, because we can go loot the map a little bit. You know what? No, we should probably bring all of it, huh? You can right-click to remove. Okay, good. I don't know. Do we bring all four? The important thing is... We can buy sentry guns for 20 materials! Boop, boop. <laughs> Do it! These things are so good! Oh, my God. Oh, I probably should have bought one and bought an upgrade, maybe. No, that's alright. We'll be alright. Three sentry guns? If we know a fight's coming, that's gonna be so much firepower. Four sentry guns if you count the gunners, if we have time to put it down. Oh my god, I'm feeling wonderful about that. <clears throat> now the question is... The tools and the medical supplies... Do we leave one behind and just go loot the rest of the map? We know there's more medkits on the map. I might even take less medkits. We know there's one tool on the map we could still pick up. That's not good, to be honest. I'm going to bring every tool. Because we're probably going to need every tool, because we rest so often. The medkits, however, leaving three behind doesn't sound terrible. There's a lot of medkits still on the map waiting to be picked up, I believe. Can we see the map? If I go back here, and I go to select deployment, does it show me what's on the map? Hello, Administrator Hayes. It does. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. This is huge. Good info. Good info. All right. We have probably two med kits in the vet clinic. Um, med kit here. That's three med kits. Two guaranteed. There's the tool we can pick up that we're going to keep on the map for later. That's literally it. Second floor? There's a question mark there. That's something. Another med kit there. A lot of med kits, to be honest. Another med kit there. Question mark there. Question mark there. I feel like there's a ton of med kits. Yeah, I feel like there's a ton of med kits. I think we can leave med kits behind and just go gather some. Yeah, let's do that. 
Okay, everybody's set. Sniper rifle. He's got his smart gun. Everybody's got a revolver. Yeah, we're all good here. <clears throat> Do I bring med kits? Maybe I just bring two? <clears throat> go hit the vet clinic, and then if we need med kits, we can go pick up more? I feel like that's kind of a waste. What if on harder maps we want to have these backup medical supplies? It shouldn't be hard to go gather those medical supplies we've left behind, right? But what if we need them? What if we need them? <sighs> Let's bring two. I'm really unsure what to do, so bringing zero seems hasty. Bringing four seems like a waste. Let's do two and hope that that's a good number to bring. I'm bringing every tool, because there's only one tool left on the map. We need every tool we can bring. We lo we wasted so many last time. I don't want to say wasted, but we used so many last time. Let's launch the mission. Alright, it's been three days since we've been out here. Day four. And he felt there was still something to find, so we're finally going to be able to do more objectives out here. I say finally like it's been this grand wait. So entitled. <clears throat> here we go. We're 70% done. So we can do the last 30% here. Probably the hardest 30%. And then we should be good. Now the alien aggressiveness level... I'm hoping goes down each day. And since we haven't been here since day one and it's day four hopefully it's all the way back down to the beginning I would not be surprised if it goes down like a level each time so like if it went from hard to medium if you wait a day or medium to easy if you wait a day and since it's been three it should be all the way to the bottom please listen up squad hell Check yeah situation's been updated <clears throat> first up I want to get Dr. Becker some samples of these creatures. Give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Second, if there's anything here we can use to patch up the Otago, well, I want those materials too. Marines, remember we saw a hangar on Saka. If we're to find any materials for the Otago, it should be there. Okay. Alright, so we're going here, back to the warehouse. Fair enough. I want to go on our med kit journey real quick. But that's, that's like, really close by, to be fair. So, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's redeploy down there. I didn't I didn't have a great understanding where we wanted to go last time, but we're here now. All right, we do know now that if you lose armor points, that does count as wounded. Something to keep in mind. It's stressful being back. <laughs> I had just gotten relaxed. Because we haven't been under threat for half an hour of gameplay. <clears throat> Maybe even 45 minutes of gameplay. Point is, it's been a while since I've been under threat and I'm feeling it again. It's funny being back to a map and it just like keeping your progress like that. I love it. It's just very different. Look at that good looking gun with 150 ammo. Alright guys, let's go. Look at how good our squad looks. We got Smith in the back with the with the cloak and hood and stuff. I know I know the objectives right there, but I'm just grabbing our med kits real quick from the vet clinic. And if there's only one and the question mark is something else, then we're grabbing a med kit. Stay frosty, Marines. Affirmative. All right. Open airlock. Right. But it said that we were too full last time. Yeah, okay. I couldn't imagine what else that could have been, because it said we were too full last time when we needed a tool but didn't need a med kit. Decontamination complete. Okay, and then the med kit right here. There we go. Alright. Let's see what's I love having three sentry guns. <laughs> that feels really good. Alright, let me see the abilities here. Shotgun blast, grenade launcher, precision shot, closest marine equipped with a battle rifle, assuming sniper rifle. There's an accurate and powerful shot after a one second delay. Tripod. Flare. That costs a command point. Got it. Okay. Flare. That makes sense. Tripod also costs command points. 
Fixed automated weapon, use a secondary weapon. Okay, so that's, again, that's for setting up beforehand. Not going to be nearly as good afterwards, because sentry guns don't cost a command point. You just got to have a sentry gun to put up. Using a command point mid-battle to set up a sentry would not be worth it. You need to just grenade launch or something. Decontamination process engaged. Processing. Processing. Decontamination complete. I'm appreciating the lack of motion tracker detection right now. Very happy about that. Not a single thing since we got here. I'm all about it. Obviously the game would be boring if it never happened, but I'm here to make some progress. So I'm here for it. We could. Or we could interrogate the quartermaster's record terminal instead. <laughs> True. Warehouse Why terminal. Nothing. nothing. That's an objective, so we got experience, no. right? No. Wait. I've got something. Looks like some of these colonists have a sideline in smuggling. This guy's working at the power complex. Check this place out, Marines. I'm marking the location. The quartermaster was involved in smuggling activities with a generator engineer. Oh, I just opened the data pad. Whoops, I hit M to open the map. My bad, I should have known this. What's up, Julian? I finally managed to take a break. That freaking power complex, man, it's killing me. All these outages and all because Gallagher is too cheap to change our generator. Man, I can't wait to get out of this shithole. Speaking of it, any news from our friends? Let me know, I'm already packed to go. Okay. Planet infestation. Yeah, each time the planet infestation reaches a new threshold, the overall difficulty of all locations increases. Yeah. And after today, it will be at four out of five on the bar. So that's wonderful. Okay. Oh, we're going to the evil building. Oh no! I hate that building. Oh, this building's awful. It's the one with the red room or whatever, where there's a hive and a bunch of loot that was trying to bait you to stay at the hive. <sighs> as long as nothing spawns while we're in there, I guess. That's honestly probably the most dangerous building um, on this map that we've seen so far. The fact that there's so much to do in that room while there's an, an active nest in that room. Okay. Here we go, squad. Um, I'm starting to feel this squad right here. I'm going to be really sad if we lose any of these people. I probably could have leveled up a lower level marine team, but... I think you just gotta use your best members Ugly if you get the chance. Place. They're built to last, not to look nice. Let's find that equipment stash. Okay, find the engineer. There's something around. That's our first motion tracker moment. Got nothing. Okay. It's gonna be the middle building. It's gonna be the middle room. I'm calling it here. I'm not even gonna check the other room. Of course it's gonna be this room. Got something on the tracker. Got a body here. I knew it. Recover data pad. Could be our smuggler. Everybody else go. Is there anything on the body? If something spawns, I'm pausing. A transformer station? Hunslet. Do you have eyes on that from up there? Yep, yep, yep. Smuggler's data pad seems to indicate smuggling. Okay. <clears throat> data pad? Julian Waltz log. Only two data pads left. Good news, mate. Those lunatics came clean. Turns out they had a few dollars left in their holy pockets. Change of plans, though, because I think Gallagher suspects something. If you if we want to leave this rock for good, we need to be extra careful with this job. You still got access to the transformer station? We need someplace discreet. Cheers. Inspect the transformer station. Okay. So we're going. We're just going back to our ark. That's good. That's our favorite place to be. That is our favorite place in the whole wide Dead Hills to be. Don't get too comfy, okay? I'm kind of comfy, I'm not going to lie. It's the first time I've been comfy on this map, but it's because we basically cleared it out. And we're just turning in objectives with only one alien on the whole tracker so far. Not even that close. 
Roger. What are we getting? Some loot? Sergeant Harper, I've searched through the PDT's history and enlarged the scope of our receivers. Turns out the chips of several citizens, including McNeil and Gallagher, disappeared next to an old mine. If there's still Trimonite in there, it must be messing with the PDT signal. Exactly. Which means more might be alive down there. All right, Marines. Administrator Hayes just found us a new shining objective. She needs that director and we need that vet. We're making a detour <laughs> through that mine. Really, Sergeant? Caving? Thank God I'm only flying with you lot. <laughs> Don't push me, Hunslet, or I'll drag you in those tunnels myself. <laughs> Yo, we just got 150 materials. There's not even supposed to be that much left on the whole map. How? That's so good. 150 materials. We can we can get five upgrades with that. Or we can get the mine and the flamethrower and still an upgrade on top of it. That's so many materials. It's beautiful. Alright, here's the building that's been cl closed off. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we make our move. This is the place that's been blocked off. Um, there's still a tool there and a tool there. There's two tools on the map still. That's right. Good. Good to know. We might need them. We'll see. Roger. Finish another objective. There we are. Yeah, this... Oh, this is our first Xeno sample drop. Finally. Also, didn't it say this could go... Yeah, Lance get the arc over required. here. Hang on. Our ride is coming. I don't want anything popping out of this and hitting us without the arc nearby. There we go. It looks... You look beautiful, arc. You look beautiful. There's a lot of corpses right there. Damn. Looking good, arc. Crazy folks. Fighting these beasts with shovels, harsh language, and pickaxes. Might as well shoot yourself. Right now. Nothing on that guy. Disgusting. Nothing on that. Nothing on him. Damn. Cover the data pad at least. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Four Xeno samples. And they're not gonna say anything about that? We just we just have four Xeno samples. Well, I hope we still got it. Okay, I'm not getting any motion tracking, so we should be good. Nothing we missed in the area? No? <sighs> Time to go to the mines, the final floor of this map. Oh, look, there it is. Xeno samples gathered four. Nice. Okay, it does register we have it. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> That's dark. I love it. Time to get tense. Another med kit. That's good. A two-door safety room. That's not worth using. Perhaps we should get moving. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We can weld that, but we won't. An ammo clip. We actually probably need that. <laughs> Give us that. We we wasted so many yesterday. They're not yesterday. On day one, three days ago. That it's good to see another ammo box. We probably need that. Another toolbox, too. Okay. And there's the elevator down to the mines. <laughs> oh, do you feel the tension? Do you feel the aliens being able to spawn out of those vents? Is that the last data pad? 19 out of 19? It On might it. be. And we've hey, just done a circle, so we've cleared this building out. Looks like a data pad. Yeah, we've done everything in the first and second floor of this place. It's just, all that's left is, uh, the mine. 19 of 19, here it is, the last data pad from Roger to Julian. What's up, Julian? I finally managed to take a break. That freaking co power complex, man, it's killing me. All these outages and all because Gallagher's... We already read this. Oh, we have two new ones, here we go. Eva Laraz. To Dead Kill Hills Colony, the whole list. Excuse the intrusion, people, but someone has to speak up. Gallagher is completely overwhelmed by what's happened. I've been a Wayland yutani employee long enough to know that if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. 
We all have something we can use to kill that thing. Mining tools, knives, sharp sticks, whatever. Bring it all and join me near the old mine. We can do it. Oh no, they thought there was only one. Even then, they're not looking good. Eric Garner, log number two. To Sheriff Souza. I'm telling you I'm leaving, Kaya. If you got any sense, you'll hightail it out of here too before what's living down in that mine comes for the rest of us. And then they didn't do that. Maybe Eric did, though. Hopefully he's alive. Oh, boy. Here we go. At least alien aggressiveness is at... It's as easy as it's gonna get, basically. Going into this mine. We've got med kits up here if we need to come back. We got tools it's up quiet. here if we need to come back for a rest. It's too quiet. Etc. Okay. Alright. Mineshaft. Oh no. Oh no. We only have like 10 more minutes to record too. We have to find a safe room soon. More ammo, nice, nice. Going deeper and deeper into the lair of the beast. Charming, really. Keep that line clear, squad. It's already hard enough to hear you with all that trimonite around. Okay. I'll try to adjust comms to those caves, but keep your eyes peeled. Another med kit right there, okay. Got 10 materials and an ammo. Yeah, that material, those... Okay, these boxes always give materials. Big fan of those. Let's see what's inside. Oh my god, a lot of materials actually. Digging that. Okay, maybe we go left first. No motion tracking yet. I appreciate it. There's something around. Yeah, there it is. Two some, three somethings, just like that. Oh. No! That's awful. Let's, um... Let's actually set up a sentry gun, like, right at the elevator. Like that. Yeah. Deploying sentry gun! That way we have a, fall a safe Sadly, fallback place. Ready. Sorry. Okay. And then we still have two sentry guns with us. Three if you count the other guys. I don't like where that one's going. Maybe we go right after all. It's going away. Okay. What is this looking like? We're, st we're, we're just in the dark. We don't know what we're working with. Okay, bodies over there. And a chest. There. Is that one coming towards us? It totally is. There's one coming this way. Okay, backed up. Good. Man! Are Don't we for real right now? Okay. This place is popping with aliens. Let's go the other way for a sec. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot. I can already tell. Okay, we're back over here now. Oh my god. They're so active. Stay frosty, Marines. No way it's coming down in this room. It's 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 going down. Shoot. Okay, if we aim it better. It did take out... See, this still counts as undetected. We just had to use a tool on that. Oh my god. Don't get too comfy, okay? Repair Roger. it. Damn it! Get up, sweetie. Get up, sweetie. That's funny. Okay, we need to aim it better, probably. Fixed. We killed an alien, though. And didn't have to be detected, so that could be another way we could stealth around. Oh my god, stop. Right, 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 Okay. I have multiple signals. Oh god damn it. There's not gonna be an end, is there? How are we gonna do this? It didn't see us. How are we going to do this? I have no idea to be honest. 
This is a lot. Um, no stress when we handle things that way, at least. I feel ca I feel boxed in. I'm not sure what to do here. Comfy, okay? Maybe that one alien finally went far enough away that it's okay. More signature spotted. No, not really. Oh shit, we're definitely seen. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go, go. Oh my god, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going somewhere. What are we what? doing? Let's see and now we left our out. sentry gun way far away from us. Oh god. Got a material. Oh, there's a body here too. Almost left that. We're full, so it's medkit probably. And that's a dead end there. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Alright, so this is, this is like a corner we can set up in almost. Set up a sentry gun to kill things in there. Did it get it? I think it got it. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's keep moving. That sentry gun's doing pretty good. It's not perfect. It went down once, but it's doing pretty good. Clearing out the map for us a little bit. Oh my god, there's a hive here. That's our problem. They're spawning right here. That's why it's so packed over here. Everybody else go. Setting a motion tracker. Motion tracker deployed. Is it coming this way? No, it's going the other way. It's stopping, actually. Another chest. Okay. On my way. That's a tool. Nice. Replaces Let's the tool we spent. Inside. More signatures spotted. More bodies. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That's really bad. Oh, we can also blow up those things to attract them for 30 seconds, right? Make them go look somewhere else. It's another option we have. There's chests up there and everything. Huh. How do we do this? Bad. Get moving. Um, I'm pretty happy that we've explored this side other than this main room right here, which I don't feel really <laughs> like exploring more of that right now. Oh god, it's hooking around. If they hook around from both directions, we're screwed. Go, Ron spotted. <clears throat> Shit, they Shit. know we're here. Oh my god, that's so bad. Put a sentry down. Should have done this earlier, but put it down. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it. Shotgun blast. We're gonna get we're gonna get acided. Yep. Damn it! We're already messed up. Who else wants some? We've already messed up. It's not coming from that other one. Um, shoot, shoot. They're heading our way. Just go this way. We're not detected if we go this way. But then we can't back up the sentry gun. Never mind. Okay, we'll set up the other one too. There's no reason for us not to have both set up. Okay, set them up. Set them up. Damn it, we got seen. That's not good. Sentry activated. Now we're gonna have to go back up and rest. Damn it! Dude, this is tough. This mine is terrible, and there's no safe rooms yet. A lot of supplies everywhere, but we can't pick them up because it's there's costly aliens going on. As soon as this hunted thing is done, I'm picking this up and we're moving. We'll loot as long as we can before we need to go. They're after you, squad. Get out of there. There's one more. Spotted. Let's do what we can. We might leave we'll before it finds us, to be honest. Nope. Mostly intact. The hunted reset a little bit. Oh, a Xeno sample from that one. Nice. Okay. Copy. Pick these up. Packing Let's go. Sentry gun. Deploying sentry gun. It wasn't working? Oh, 
<laughs> it wasn't finished setting up. I can't believe it. He got hit by acid, so he stopped. That's what happened. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta go now while it's open. We've created this opportunity. Let's use it. Disgusting. Let's go, let's go. Got him. They look intact to me. Okay, that that we're full on that one. Okay. Go hit that. Um Let's see what's inside. Go loot that. I know we're separating. I'm trying to I'm trying to manage our time without enemies wisely. Can't get that tool. Roger. Materials, body, body. That's that's full. Okay. Let's see what's inside. He's coming, he's coming. Okay. And then we've gotten just, Oh, there's another one here. No, that no, we're full. That's why we don't have that one. Got something on the tracker. Yep, it's coming. We gotta go around the other way. Don't get seen again. Do not get seen again. I don't even know where we're going right now. This is new territory. Oh my god, where are we going? More ammo? Okay. Grab that real quick. At least when the hunt happens, things are dead for a little bit and we can we can loot real quick. Wow! Okay, there's another there's another nest here. Got it. I'm feeling the pressure. Feeling the pressure. If that thing spawns right now, we're in trouble. We're a little separated too. Damn. Don't you dare spawn right now. Not right now. Setting up motion Please not right now. Got something on the tracker. Motion tracker Run back over here, man. Okay, it's ready? Go. There was a body there we didn't get to. Um But we got most of what there is. Okay. That could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Let's pick this bad boy up too. Let's go upstairs and go hit a rest. Cause, no, stop. We're still collecting things. Sentry pack. Yeah. Wow. First floor. <laughs> that mine is a lot, and we got absolutely busted being sandwiched by those aliens earlier. Okay. These are two door safe rooms. So we got to go back. We have all the we have all the tools and med kits we need still. That's good. Let's just take the Don't arc back so it's okay. faster. And we're going to go rest. It's still easy aggressiveness. We've made some progress towards medium. That's a shame, but we're still okay. Redeploy over here. And we'll use a tool to rest and then we'll take the tool back from up here to resupply. You know what? I'll actually take a tool from further away. So that we have more tools nearby that are relevant. That makes sense to me. And we're in. <laughs> okay. Woo, the mines. No safe rooms there. We literally had to come back upstairs. That's a whole different beast. And there's very and there's not as many walls. It's a bunch of like open space, but you can only walk on some of it. That's different. That is different. Weld that door. Yeah, weld that door. You We're resting here. Ass, we didn't use too much ammo though. That's good. We door still have ammo way. saved up. Let's go ahead and rest. Everybody heals hundred stress because conspirators gone. We save command points, hemorrhage, etc. A shame about the armor points we lost. Everybody lost an armor point there, and that was a real shame. We're, maybe we weren't backing up while we were fighting. We should have been doing that. Not sure, what to be honest. What are you waiting for? Breakfast in bed? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Alien Stark Descent. I'm having so much fun. It's unreal. It's unreal. I can't wait to get back into it. I need to go eat, and I'm, I'm getting uh, texted by friends and stuff, so I need to see what's going on with the real life. But I will be back ASAP. Expect two of these episodes per day, because they're so amazing. Thank you again, and I'll see all of you next time.